Hey there, Sky Watchers. This is Deborah Nedburn from the Los Angeles Times. There's a lunar eclipse coming up this week, and you don't want to miss it. If you've looked at the internet, you've heard this eclipse called the blood moon. That's because when the moon passes through the shadow of the Earth Wednesday morning, it will turn a reddish color. This is a perfectly natural occurrence that happens every time there is a lunar eclipse. The moon turns red instead of black because even when the Earth has moved between the moon and the sun, the scattered light from all the sunsets and sunrises on the rim of our globe still make it to the moon's surface. If you live on the West Coast, you're going to have to stay up pretty late to enjoy the the show. The edge of the moon moves into the faint part of the Earth's shadow called the penumbra at 1.15, but you won't be able to see much until the darker part of the Earth's shadow, the umbra, begins to fall on the moon around 2.14. The full lunar eclipse, when the whole moon is shaded by Earth, begins just over an hour later at 3.25 and lasts until 4.24. This week's lunar eclipse is the second of four lunar eclipses in 2014 and 2015. The last one occurred on April 14th. The next one will occur on April 4th of 2015. I know it's tough to get up in the middle of the night, but if you make the effort, you'll get to see the geometry of the cosmos before your eyes. It should be amazing. Thanks for listening. Happy sky watching.